Hello again. We're recording this on Sunday, March 29. I'm sure many of you attended a church online, perhaps from your own living room today. And if you didn't, I've put three services with three different worship styles at the bottom of this blog, and I recommend them all to you. Different people appreciate different styles of worship, and the only thing that really matters is that we honor God and seek his guidance and strength during these challenging times. Today for our prayers, I thought we'd use um, some words. They'll appear on the screen so we can pray together. These are prayers that millions of people around the globe have prayed in church today. They're just starter prayers, so to speak. Any prayer that we lift to God is wonderful. He loves to hear it. And the Bible tells us that it's like sweet smelling incense before God when we pray. We invite you to pray along out loud. Please feel free to pause the video after each prayer, add your own thoughts and the specific people and circumstances who come to mind from the, the general prayer that's being offered. But let's take a few moments now and let's pray together. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord Jesus, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Increase, O oh God, the spirit of neighborliness among us, that in peril we may uphold one another, in suffering tend to one another, and in homelessness, sickness, loneliness, or exile, befriend one another. Grant us brave and enduring hearts that we may strengthen one another until the disciplines and testings of these days are ended and you again give peace in our time through Jesus Christ our Lord. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, went about doing good and healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people. Continue in our hospitals his gracious work among us, especially in this time of pandemic. Console and heal the sick. Grant to the physicians, nurses, and assisting staff wisdom and skill, diligence and patience. Prosper their work, O Lord, and send down your blessing upon all who serve the suffering through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, sustainer of our life and source of our hope, comfort and relieve all who endure illness. Give your grace to all who minister to their needs, that they may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care. Through him who knows our weakness and, have, and has shared our sorrows, Jesus Christ our Lord. Most loving Father, you will us to give thanks for all things to dread nothing but the loss of you and to cast all our care on the one who cares for us. Preserve us from faithless fears and worldly anxieties 
and grant that no clouds of this mortal life may hide from us the light of that love which is immortal and which you have manifested unto us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And then let's join all our prayers together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So, friends, thank you for praying. As I mentioned at the beginning, there are three church services for you to be blessed by. The first one is uh, one my mother and I listened to over the phone online. She was in Ontario. I was here in British Columbia. Pastor Paul Carter speaks about God's promises in Psalm 91 and how we can look to God in these days for his help. The second service is the service from my home church here in Burnaby, BC, Burnaby, BC, Caribou Road Christian Fellowship. Pastor Paul Mahan speaks about times of testing, how easily we stumble, but how God is with us through it all. It's based on Mark chapter 14. The third service is with our friends at St. Matthias St. Luke Church in Vancouver. It's a liturgical service of morning prayer and Reverend Chris Lee preaches a timely word about facing death based on John chapter 11. If you haven't already gone to church today, I really encourage you to do so. I know God will bless you. Have a wonderful day.